episode number six of the ABCs from God, the truth about being Christian. Today I've played with the changing of my title. For this episode, the ABCs from God, God's truth about black Christians. We have a great show for you today. Please support this channel by subscribing and hitting the like button. And don't forget to share it with all your family and friends. Thank you. Several months ago, many people, for the first time for quite a few, were becoming aware of a group or a bunch of groups that were definitely not for our free democratic society. However, despite the false claims being distributed by our, it seems, financially swayed mainstream media, there were informed people in our society that were aware or were more aware of these factions in our two North American countries. For more on this, see Rebel News and the Epic Times newspaper in my description. In July and early August of 2020, the Black Lives Matter group suddenly materialized more in our mainstream media after an instance of a white police officer seen in an act of overuse of force and the death of a black man. Regrettably, the original video from the fake news mainstream media channel showed a black man laying on the pavement with a police officer pressing his knee on the man's neck for over nine minutes, sadly until that man passed away. It was a brutal scene to witness, and that was the extent of our knowledge of the incident. In other video, not shown by our warped mainstream media, this man, George Floyd, was pulled over, driving a car, he was extremely high in drugs, and he was not cooperating with the police officer's request to get into the back of their police cruiser. Also of note, even before he left his vehicle, he was complaining of having trouble breathing. It, it was obvious he was having some negative effects from the drugs. So after all his resistance to get into the police cruiser, he ended up on the ground with one officer pinning him down. Despite the obvious harsh force of this police officer, several American lives from the backlash of this video possibly could have been saved. That is, if this resisting the police footage had been shown in the original, original media clip with ethical journalism and the full story told, the American public would have reacted with less hostility. However, the uh, group which is in control of our mainstream media, our university funding, our university professors, our liberal democratic leaders, and the policing of our health officials, and our climate change team. And you get my point, my rant here. This conglomeration of groups had a plan from the start. Uh, that is, is there a plan the, the World Economic Forum plan to get black people and other ethnic groups, including a newly formed Marxist-like group, group of university students, to believe that white police officers, or even police officers in general, are unjust and do not care for black people as human beings. Of course, in this disgusting rare instance, the, the police officer and the three other officers who were at the scene are now in custody, pending the full investigation of what happened. Okay, now let's, let's get back to the title of this episode, God's Truth About Black Christians. Whether you are a Christian or not, it is important in these times to know and understand what it is to be a black Christian. Several months ago, there was a wonderful example of, a, of an admirable man, uh, a black Christian from the National Basketball Association. His name is Jonathan Isaac, and he became the first NBA player to stand during the national anthem rather than to take a knee. He also chose not to wear a Black Lives Matter t-shirt. After the game, the first question he took was, do you believe Black Lives Matter? He responded, absolutely. To see Jonathan's full response, see the tweet from Darren Stoltzfus in my description. Jonathan, like many courageous Christian saints of the past, was the lone man standing during the NBA group promotion of Black Lives Matter. When asked afterwards by the mainstream media group why he did not take a knee, that is, didn't he care for black lives? By the way, this was a black female reporter asking a black man this question. He responded, 
I believe that Black Lives Matter, kneeling while, while wearing a Black Lives Matter t-shirt does not go hand in hand with supporting black lives. I support black lives, but not that way. My life is being supported by Jesus Christ. The gospel gives us force. He goes on to say, I knew it was going to be a tough decision, one that people would have questioned. I've leaned on God's word and his plan for me. People have opinions, but I took my decision. We are protesting and doing things to get something done, but we need to see all the things and all the answers are in the word of Jesus. End of quote. Bible quote. From the book of Luke, chapter 13, verse 24. Strive to enter through the narrow gate. For many, I tell you, will seek to enter and will not be able. Good on Jonathan for taking the narrow door or the narrow gate. So really what he is saying is that through Jesus Christ and the Holy Bible, we get real true answers to life questions. And whatever color on the outside we may be, we are all children of God. Our God loves each and every one of us just as we are. Of course, that love does not include our sin. However, his son, Jesus Christ, erased our sin. That is, with our repentance and our forsaking of sin, our turning from our sin, we are reborn. No wonder us Christians have joy in all things. Thank you, Jesus. Bible book. From the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 14, Strive for peace with everyone and for the holiness without which no one will see the Lord. Notice that Jonathan's reply to the question was really in the spirit. He said, we need to see all things and all the answers are in the word of Jesus. This statement links with my last episode's discussion on having a community that is loving to each other while sharing a godly set of rules and laws. And this is what our police forces and law courts have provided in North America. Not just man's rules and laws, but God's biblical rules and laws. God's wisdom shows that the Black Lives Matter group in the summer of 2020 was built on lies and hate and supported by a corrupt media, and unfortunately, its unaware masses. Now, less than a week from Christmas 2020, we look back at the summer of 2020 through the eyes of our truthful media sources like the Rebel News and the Epic Times newspaper. And we see the Black Lives Matter groups and the Antifa groups in a different light. We see them as heavily financed, communist-like groups who were and still are trying to bring down our free capitalist American way. Now for the Lemmy mainstream media crowd, the cliff is up ahead. Just keep marching on. Well, serious sarcasm here. And beware, don't spend more than two minutes on the Rebel News website or the Epic Times website, you may miss the fall. Well, despite the constant attacks in the past four years, Trump and his team, the Rebel News, the Epic Times, and our two countries faithful are fighting back to keep the constitutional republics that we so love. Whether one of these groups manages to take away the wonderful freedoms of our two great American nations. Or not, we as Christians will remain one, united under Jesus Christ, standing together. Now for those of you who want other excellent examples about black Christians, please check out Thomas Sowell, the recently deceased Walter E. Williams, Larry Elder, Candace Owens, and Ben Carson, to name a few. Look in my description to see what they say on Black Lives Matter. If you have just come to Jesus Christ or have been following him for a while, keep up or begin your daily habit of reading the Holy Bible. And join with my friends and I in sharing God's truths, his ABCs, about being Christian. God bless and have a Merry Christmas.